Hey everyone, it's Audrey and a long time no video. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't been able to sit down and make a video lately. I've just been having a lot going on in my life. Um, I had a lot of family stuff that I had to take care of. I went on a couple trips and I recently injured myself. Um, if you watch my Instagram stories then you probably already know that um, I I think, because I didn't really see what happened at the time, uh, but I think I stepped on a stingray when I was wading in the water. I stepped on something, I could feel myself stepping on something soft and it just clamped <gasps> down on my foot. So my toes are looking a little gory right now <laughs> and I had kind of a bruise um, across my entire foot uh, for a couple of days. Um, it's healing now, but I don't think I'm gonna show you just because it looks kind of gross. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it heals because I'm leaving for Japan in four days. I'm going with my husband and I'm packing my suitcase. So I thought that I would do a pack with me type of video. Um, I've done something kind of like this before, like what's in my carry-on, um, but I figured I would do kind of a vlog style pack with me because why not? Um, I'm just in the process of putting everything together and I'm trying to go for just one carry-on suitcase and my backpack. So let's see if we can do that. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. So just want to show you really quick. This is everything that I'm going to bring with me. I have everything kind of organized into these little packing cubes. I got these from the brand Calpac a while back. I think this is tops. This is bottoms and then shoes and some underwear and socks and stuff like that. And then I'm going to put everything in this duffel bag. Uh, the brand of this is, what is this called? This is London Fog and it's just a duffel style carry-on, but it has a handle as well, handle. And then right over here are just some wheels. I think I can fit everything. And then I also have a couple of bags that I want to bring. A backpack where I'm going to put my laptop. Just everything that I want to have on the plane. And then I'm going to pack this in... That's my phone. I'm going to pack this in my suitcase. I think I'll go kind of section by section. Just kind of share with you what I'm bringing. Kind of do like a packing list. And this will help me as well because I can check everything off. Okay, moving over here. So I can be around my stuff, but the first thing that I do when I'm packing my stuff, I just kind of put everything together first and organize it by kind of like category, I suppose. And then I'll take everything out that I'm going to wear on the plane. So I usually go for like the bulkiest items, stuff that I don't really want to pack. And if I'm starting with shoes, the pair of shoes that I'm going to wear probably are my sneakers just because they're comfortable. I just don't really want to pack them because they're way too bulky compared to the other ones that I'm going to bring. So I'm going to put this to the side. These are from, this is the brand P448. So I'm going to wear these on the plane. So I'll just put them right here. And then I think I'm just going to wear biker shorts and a sports bra as well as a black hoodie. The ends of these are also the same color as my sneakers, which I thought was kind of interesting and fun. Um, so that'll be a cute outfit. And then just so I don't have to pack one of the other jackets that I'm bringing, I'm going to pack this acid wash denim jacket. And yeah, I think I'll wear that on the plane as well. Um, so that gets rid of a lot of the more heavier things. I'm only going to bring three pairs of shoes. Um, I usually just bring three pairs when I'm traveling. So the first pair is going to be those sneakers just for like casual walking. And then I always like to have a pair of sandals with me. So I'm going to bring these Birkenstocks. Um, they're just the black ones. I thought I would bring a kind of nicer pair of shoes, but I don't really want to bring heels because I don't see myself doing something that fancy when I'm in Japan and I just want to be comfortable the whole time that I'm there. So I'm going to bring these pair of like white pointed flats. So I'll put these white flats with my Birkenstocks and pack that to the side. I guess I'll show you guys the tops that I'm bringing. So I'm only going to bring six tops I think. 
fully wear it there for 14 days, but I feel like I can mix and match these tops that I'm about to show you. I'm bringing three white ones and three black ones um, just because I, I don't want to mess with any colors on the trip. I'm also planning on thrifting a bunch of clothes, hopefully, um, while I'm there. And if I don't find anything, I don't mind wearing these the whole time um, because I believe all of the places that we're staying at have washing machines. So that's going to be really easy. So the first top is a white wrap top. I think I've worn this several times on my channel. I love it. It's made of linen, so it's going to be really simple to style and it's very, very cool to wear. Then I'm going to bring kind of a white bra top, crop top, crop top type of shirt. Um, I have a lot of high-waisted um, bottoms, so when I'm wearing high-waisted bottoms, I always want to wear kind of a crop top just because I don't like to tuck in the ends that far. And then I have a new tank top that I just got from the brand Desert Dreamer. It's just a ribbed tank and it says made of stars on it. Um, I did have just like a regular like wife beater type tank, um, but then I got this one and that one's a lot cuter. So I'm gonna put that one in another organizer, those three tops. And then the next three, first black top, is going to be this Beatles Muscle Tank. I actually got this from Walmart, and then I sliced off the sleeves, um, and then I cut off the bottom. I believe this is, what size is this? Double XL. I just bought a double XL in the men's section, and it looks pretty cool. I really like it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm in Japan. I might do like a lookbook. I think that would be fun. I thought about trying on these things to show you, but I think I'll save that for a lookbook while I'm there, just because it'll be something cool to film. And then I brought a tank top with me. I'm actually wearing the same tank top right now. Then the last one is a black bodysuit. I got this one from Revolve a while back, and it has a really low back. It just goes with everything, so bringing that as well. Last for the tops is just another jacket. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this one, but I wanted to bring it just in case it gets kind of chilly. I don't see it getting chilly while I'm there because I checked the weather forecast and the humidity is very high and it looks like the weather is staying around the 70s, 80s, um, sometimes 90s, but I think maybe if we stay out really late, I don't know, this might be a really cute thing to wear. It's very fall, uh, it's made of wool, so I feel like, I don't know, why not bring it? Um, it's cute and if I ever get cold then I have all my bases covered. I won't have to buy another jacket. So those six tops are going in one organizer with that other jacket. Moving on to bottoms. I put all my bottoms in this organizer. I have about six bottoms and then two dresses. So I got two skirts that I wanted to bring. This one actually matches that jacket. I might wear this just with one of the white tops that I have, maybe the black one, um, but it was just a cute set that I got from the brand Sadie and Sage. And then I also have a skirt, flowy skirt. Um, it's about like midi length, almost maxi length. I've worn this before on my channel as well and I just love it. I'm trying to go for breezier fabrics, casual fabrics, because I'm imagining that I'm going to be very hot and sweaty during the day and possibly cold at night. So I'm going to bring those two skirts. I'm also going to bring two pairs of shorts. One of them is a pair of denim cutoffs. I'm from Wrangler. I thrifted these at the flea market recently. So that's one pair of shorts. And then I recently shared this, I think in my latest video, my 50 outfit ideas video, which is this paper bag, paper bag waist shorts. I think that's the name of the style. I really like the length and it's a little bit dressier than those denim cutoffs. I have a kind of casual pair and then a nicer pair that I can wear. I have to bring a pair of jeans. I feel like it was just a staple wherever you are. And I have these pair of the light wash jeans that I got from Paxson a while back. They're high waisted, but they're very loose. So I can hike them up to my rib cage if I want, or I can wear them kind of lower, but I love these. They're just really comfortable. I think I've had them for a year, so 
They're perfectly worn out and they're just really nice mom jeans. And then the other pair of jeans I wanted to, to bring with me are a pair of cargo pants. Not jeans, cargo pants. I wore in my 50 outfit ideas video as well. Just these ones from Boohoo. Last for this organizer are two dresses. One is from the brand Princess Polly. Um, I believe I showed this to you guys already as well. Tank dress with a slit on the side and the animal print is really fun. This is just perfect for hot weather, I think, um, because it's kind of loose, but kind of revealing, so I'm not gonna be too hot. And then I have a cute floral dress. Um, it's actually my mom's. I think I took this from my mom's closet when I was in high school. Um, I think she wore this in the 80s. I believe I have a couple pictures of her wearing it. But sorry mom, you're never gonna get this back. <laughs> I'm stealing it forever. The last organizer I don't think I really wanna show you because it's just my underwear. Um, but I guess I'll just share with you what kind of underwear I'm gonna bring on the trip. Uh, just what kind of underwear I like to bring when I travel in general. Um, so I always like to have a swimsuit with me. So I just brought a black bikini and then I have like a nude bra and then a black bralette um, and then just matching underwear to go with it. Black ankle socks and white crew socks. I'm just gonna bring a little um, sports bra and a boy short set um, just to sleep in. And in case I need a strapless or backless bra, I'm gonna have this lightweight sticky bra that I got from Target. I'll show it to you. It's just a lightweight bra, sticky on the inside. I wear that with everything that, I don't know if that's backless or strapless. The last thing that's going to go in my suitcase is another backpack. Um, I'm bringing this mini backpack with me just because um, I don't want to bring my big backpack everywhere with me. This is going to be kind of like my purse um, when I want to wear a black bag. And then in here I have my contacts. Um, I've been wearing daily contacts lately. Um, I, I just feel like I would rather have these when I'm traveling rather than um, just like a two week pair. That way I don't have to bring um, contact solution. I don't have to worry about losing them. Um, whenever I travel, I already bring so many contacts anyway because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them. Um, so I feel like having dailies with me is just gonna be a lot easier. I can just take them off at the end of the day and throw them away. And then I also have another handbag in here that I'm going to bring when I wanna wear a white bag. I made this out of a pair of white shorts that I wasn't wearing anymore. I just sewed it together and put a chain and some of my favorite pins. So I will probably wear that on the trip with my white shoes. Also brought a scarf in case I want to tie my hair up with it. Wide black belt and a skinny black belt. This one is more for pants and this is just kind of to cinch my waist in case I need it with any of my outfits little baggies that I'm going to keep my jewelry in. I have a couple of necklaces in here, and then in here I just have all of my rings. Um, so I just like to keep that um, organized. I don't wanna lose that. I also have a little coin purse where I have some earrings in here. I just have some silver hoops. I have a pair of gold hoops and then a pair of chandelier earrings. Um, just so I know that I have jewelry for every outfit in case I need to. Two pairs of sunglasses that I'm going to bring with me just because these are my favorite ones. I have a pair of black kind of circle circle sunnies. I almost said skinnies. And then I have another kind of funky silver pair that I don't know. I just really like them. I don't feel like they really protect your eyes but I think they look really cool. I think I have another pair that I'm gonna have in my backpack that I'm gonna just have with me at all times that I'll show you in a second. So all of those things that I just showed you are just gonna go in this black bag, which will go in my carry-on. For my personal item, I have this black backpack that kind of also works as a purse um, with this handle. Um, my parents gave this to me for my birthday last year and I think it's from Rag and Bone. Um, I wore this when I was in Europe last year. I brought this everywhere, I brought this to London, Paris, Amsterdam. It's just the perfect travel bag. I think it fits everything. My laptop 
and then I have a little bag that has all of my cords. So this has my laptop cord, my phone cords. I have a little tripod for my phone, a pair of headphones. I also have another pair of bigger headphones that I like to bring with me to edit with just because they're a little bit more comfortable than earbuds. They're just from Skull Candy. They're my favorite. I have my wallet. Um, I like this wallet a lot because I can put my passport in here as well. It just kind of has a little side pocket. So I have my ID, my credit cards, everything, my passport. I have both my phones. Um, this one is my work phone. It's an iPhone. And then this one is a Google Pixel 3 XL. Um, I love both of them. I pretty much carry them both with me. Um, my Pixel has kind of all my books, all my... Um, games that I'm probably going to play with on the plane. So and then this is just for emails and texts and calls. Um, I'm going to bring my water bottle and it has a carabiner that I can kind of just attach to my backpack like that. I have my glasses because I'm pretty blind <laughs> without them and I need to have them with me at all times in case something happens to my contacts. And then I have this pair of tortoise shell sunglasses. I think the brand is Crew. So three sunglasses in total, but I wanna have these ones with me just cause those are the nicest ones. And lastly, I have my toiletries bags. This one kind of just has all my liquids and like tools and stuff like that, bigger things that I can probably put in my carry-on actually. Um, and then this one has all my makeup, stuff that I kinda wanna have on the plane. Um, I don't think that there are any liquids in here. Maybe I should just show you what's in my toiletries bag just so I can be a little bit more thorough. So here is everything that's in my makeup bag. Just a closer look. And I think I might have this in my backpack as well. Um, this is just stuff that I kind of want to have and just throw, be able to throw from my backpack to my handbag whenever I want to. have my dry brush here. I have a comb. Um, some of my makeup brushes, and then some eyeliners, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow gel, my mascara, and my eyelash curler. And then I have okay, some setting powder, blotting paper, beauty balm stick from Honest Beauty. It's so nice. It kind of works as like a highlighter as well as a lip balm. And then this is my absolute favorite um, lipstick, matte beauty in the color 69. I'll kind of show it to you, but it's just the perfect rosy nude color. Have some dry shampoo from Super Goop with SPF. I feel like that's really helpful for because I'm probably going to be outside the whole time. And then this is just like an easy travel setting powder. Another thing that I like from Super Goop is this SPF eyeshadow. It's really pretty. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Nope, couldn't do it, but it's a bronzy shade. Um, it's just gonna be really easy to throw on. I might do like a get ready with me when I'm in Tokyo just because some of these products I don't think I've shared with you guys before. I also have my eye mask that I definitely wanna have on the flight because I, I really need to get some sleep on this flight because I believe it is at midnight. And then just the way that it works, I think we want to sleep on the plane so we're not jet lagged once we get to our destination. I hate being jet lagged. Uh, the last time that we went to Tokyo, I think we were pretty jet lagged the whole time and I think we ended up falling asleep. I really don't want to do that this time, but I might do a get ready with me with some of these products just because a lot of them, I don't think I've shared them with you before. So that is everything that is in this bag. And let's just move on to the next bag. So this is everything that's in the other toiletries bag. And these are just kind of all skincare and just kind of my bigger um, liquids that I have to get kind of checked when I go through security. So here is a coconut deodorant that I like from Kapari. My skincare, this is just all from Kiehl's. Pretty sure I've shared all of these products with you before. My toothbrush is from the brand Quip and then I have a little Dr. Bronner's all-in-one toothpaste. Definitely have to bring my retainer with me 
This is my foundation. This is the Milani 2-in-1 um, foundation concealer and this is really good. I don't want to bring concealer with me so this is just kind of a 2-in-1 option that I'm going to bring. And I also have a beauty blender from e.l.f. I'm just keeping it in the package because I just got this. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. And then this is another lip product. This is ColourPop. This is my sunscreen. I love the packaging. This is just from the brand SandCloud. This one is for my face. This is from Super Group, Goop as well. Super Goop, not Super Group. Also have a SPF lip balm. I'm very, very into SPF, as you can tell. And then I don't want to bring any hair products, really. I think I have dry shampoo over there, but I don't want to bring like shampoo, but I will bring purple conditioner um, just because I have blonde hair and just in case my hair gets brassy. And then lastly, this is just a silicone face scrubber. So everything that's right there is going to go into that bag. So once again, electronics and kind of toiletries and stuff. Um, that's all going to go into my personal item. And then over here, this is just kind of all my clothing and shoes and stuff like that. That's just going to go into my um, carry-on bag. I also have my travel pillow that I think I'm just going to connect to the handle of that. Alright, so everything was able to fit in my carry-on. I was able to put my travel pillow along the handle and then my backpack is all packed. I have my water bottle attached and then I have all my clothes that I want to wear to the airport to the side. So I'm pretty much ready for Japan. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am. Raleigh and I have been wanting to go back to Japan for a long time. We've been saving up for this trip and I just can't wait to go there. Um, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. Um, I have some ideas, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're going on a trip yourself, if you're going to Japan like I am, and I guess I'll see you guys when I get there. So, bye. <laughs>